guys, welcome back to 90 Feet From Home. I'm your host, Ashley, and today we are gonna talk about options. Now this is one that got requested, especially after I released my video on DFAs, because it is something that kind of goes along with that. So a lot of people wanted to know about player options, because if a player has options, they don't need to be DFA'd to be removed from the 40 man roster the more you know. So let's talk a little about player options. Players on the 40 man roster all start out with three minor league options. So a player is allowed to be optioned to the minor leagues, which means that they are allowed to be sent down from the major leagues to the minors without having to clear waivers first. And I'm going to throw my video on all that nonsense up here somewhere. So if you need to know a little bit more about DFAs and waivers, that's a good place to start and then come back here and learn about options or go vice versa. I'm not your mom. So if a player is optioned to the minors for more than 20 days, he is basically considered to have used up one of his three options. So players who are moved to the minors are removed from the team's 25 man roster, but may remain on the team's 40 man roster. So once a player is optioned to the minors, they have to stay there for a minimum of 10 days. After that 10 day period, they are eligible to be recalled to the major league club. Now there are a couple loopholes to this. A player can be returned to the major league club with fewer than 10 days in the minors if they're serving as the 26th man for a double header, or if they're replacing a player who has been placed on the team's injured list. In those instances, there is no minimum amount of service time required for that player to have been in the minors before they're recalled. So when we talk about these options and we say that there are three, it's important to know that an option applies to the whole season. So there's no way for a team to burn all three options in a single year. Once a player has been optioned down to the minors, they can kind of come and go throughout that entire season with it counting as only one option. And there's no maximum number of times that a player can be recalled to the majors or optioned back down to the minors in that time frame. Now, it does mean that the same rules apply each consecutive season. So if a player is optioned down to the minors for more than 20 days of the following season, they'll have burned their second option that way. And you know, on and on throughout until all three are used. So what happens when a player is out of option? options. This can get a little bit tricky for their major league club because obviously you want to be able to keep those players around, especially if they're high value prospects and you just happen to have burned their options over three seasons. In those instances, usually what will happen is that you'll see those players make a team out of spring training, regardless of whether or not they were perhaps the best players in spring training. The idea here being is that the team wants to maintain having that player on their 40 man roster, because if they outright the player to the minors, then that player has to clear your waivers first, which means they're far more likely to lose a valuable player to another team. It's also important to know that a player's option years do not need to be used in successive years. So any player who has fewer than five years of major league service time can continue to be optioned. So they may spend an entire year in the majors and maintain having that extra option and then be sent back down or options to the minors in their fifth year of service time. Basically, as long as those three options are used within a player's first five years, they don't have to be used on successive years. You don't have to go one, two, three. A player can spend two solid years in the majors without being optioned and then get options down later on in their career. This changes, however, once a player has five years of service time. And we mentioned this in the DFA video, but basically after five years, a player cannot be optioned without their consent. So there you go, guys, a brief overview of what options are to give you kind of a better sense of what they mean and how they're used. And there's going to be a video coming up either later this week or next week about September call-ups. And I want to mention that options are not used in September call-ups. So when a prospect is called up in September so that they can kind of test out the major leagues, this does not burn any of their options. And I'll mention that again in that video. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Remember to hit that subscribe button down below and ring the bell if you want to be notified every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday when a new episode goes live. And of course, you can always follow me on social media where I'm at 90 feet from home on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Until next time, guys, have an awesome day. Bye!